Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I have got the second part of the build of the Lego Friends Heart Lake Shopping Mall. And if you missed the first part, just click the little eye up in the corner, but don't forget to come back because we are going to start building the second half and there's lots of awesome things to see. So here we go, bag number six. So this is where you come when you have shopped enough and you need something to eat. Yes, that's right, it is the fast food section of the shopping mall, or the delicious food section, it depends upon how you feel about that. So we're building the grill here, and we've got the little checkout area at the front with the little glass bottom, and on the other side is a wood-fired oven for the pizza to be cooked in. All right, we'll have a closer look. There's the front bench, and we're still going with that pizza oven. And now we need some of the traditional red, white, stripy poles to go for the pizza side. There's the cash register. And we're going to bring Julian in to just man, man the cash register at the moment. There's a sandwich, delicious sandwich, and there are some fries. And a drink. Mm -mm. See, so that side's ready. Emma is ready to order something, but don't order yet put some money next to this cash register ready for some change because on the other side is some delicious wood fire pizza. So there, see, there's that one. I don't know how we made that without actually having made the oven first, but it's the magic of Lego. Look at the flame at the back of the oven there. That's pretty cool. And now there's a pizza in the oven and we need to put the finishing touches on the top because this is the fast food area all built. So now we need some signs on the top which tell us how much all the delicious goodies are. And on top of that, yeah I know Emma, you come over and check out the pizza. On top of those signs, we still need to have a big display area to tell all the customers exactly what we've got in here. So this side has got, yep, sandwiches and drinks, rolls and drinks. And pizza for the other side. I had to pinch that one from the wood-fired oven. There! There! No mistaking what this section is for. Now we need the little balcony that goes on the front so nobody falls off the second story. And this goes on top of... Yep, on top of the sports shop which we built in the last episode. In the first part of the build. So that's pretty cool. Look at that! Check it out, we're going to pop Emma up here, she can look over the balcony, she's nice and safe because the balcony's there. <laughs> right here, we need bag seven now. Now in bag seven is one of the cute little characters in here and this is Sophie. And Sophie has got on a face mask and a, uh, a turban around her head because she is in the beauty spa. She is all getting all her face done and her hair done and having a wonderful relaxing day. So let's build the beauty spa so that she's got somewhere to sit. So there we go, there's her chair, but it needs a little foot spa at the bottom of it for her to soak her feet in for her pedicure. some comfortable arms. I think the armchair might be ready. Now this here is all the makeup section where you can go and have a makeover. Well with the Lego Friends people can go and have a makeover and we've got four different colours, four different shades of lipstick. Look at that, which colour would you choose? <laughs> there are so many choices, well four, but four is a lot. I think four is a pretty decent number of choices. Now, on the other side, we have got some hair products and a brush and a mirror. And we need a little basin to put all of the hair accessories in. Yep, we'll pop Sophie here and Emma can check the lipsticks while we put the hair accessories into here for people to come and look through and see what would suit them the best. It comes with an awful lot of cute little hair accessories. And see, there's a butterfly too and a little crown. <laughs> And here's Sophie, and there we go. Now her, her towel turban is much prettier with a flower on the front. <laughs> I'm not certain why the hole is in the front there, but it must be for decoration. Now this little table and stool is where you come 
to get your nails done and the other side is where you go to get your hair done. So there is the nail polish, we've got gold and we've got red. And Julian's going to sit here and he's going to have his nails done. And we might um, build the other side now with the mirror. The hair dryer and the brush. There, there we go. So that's where you can get your hair done. Now we just need some finishing touches. Look at those beautiful big glass windows. So easy to look into this salon as you're walking past and get tempted to come in and beautify yourself. There's the sign. Yep, that's definitely a pretty international sign for a wellness spa, isn't it? There. And out the front to coax the customers in is the discount or the specials bin. And it has got it has got nail polishes in there. On special. There we go. So we'll put that at the front and Stephanie's going to come along and see which one might suit her while we open Bag 8. A Bag 8 is my personal favourite because it is the wedding shop. So here we have a full length mirror to try out the gowns, to look at the gowns that you're trying on in and an engagement ring in the window and a little sparkly gold wedding ring. That's pretty cool. That's a lovely display on the front. And also brides need a bouquet of flowers. So we're going to stack some of these flowers to make a pretty bouquet there and the display, the bouquet display next to the rings. And on the other side, we've got another display and we've got a veil and some, some other wedding things on the picture there and here we've got a little tiara and down the bottom we need a display for some bows or a bow so little cushion displays there they look cushiony and look the wedding dress mannequin in the front window and I just love these cutouts the display windows they're very pretty bit of greenery on the front. It's all, I've said pretty already, but it really is very lovely. Okay, so we've got that built. Now we need to build up because there's a classy looking sign on the top here with a bit of curler queuing all over it. That's lovely. And there is a hang off sign off the end. I'm sure that's not the technical name for it, but the sign hangs off the side. And it's awesome for anybody wandering past to know exactly what they're looking at. We'll clip it on here. There, an old-fashioned hangy sign. And that is it. It's all done. And we're going to send Emma along and unfortunately the hanger sign is a bit too low so she bumps her head on it as she goes past. But she can look in the window at the very pretty engagement ring and the wedding ring while we build the balcony to stop everyone from falling off the second story there. There we go, now she's safe. And the wedding shop goes on top of the beauty salon. Well, we finished building, so it's time to play. Here we go, they have arrived, <laughs> arrived at the front entrance of the shopping mall. Out they get out of the car, Lady the Poodle's getting out of the car too, and they're off to check out the handbags and the hair accessory stall. Ooh, okay, what shall they find there? Mm, yep, no, nothing yet. I think they should go inside and check out everything, not just make impulse purchases before they've seen everything the mall has to offer. So in they go through the revolving door, and this time they'll check out the, the information board properly. Here we go, you are here where the big red dot is. And they're going to head off first to the sports shop. And Stephanie desperately wanted an orange ball, but unfortunately that orange ball has already been sold or lost underneath my table somewhere. I can't find it at all. 
So they go inside and they check out the skateboard, which looks pretty cool, and they check out the hats, but they decide that it's time to go off to the, the health spa, the beauty salon, and in they go, and Stephanie falls over, and Julian is still waiting at the nail table to get his nails done. So I think, where are all the shop assistants here? Where are all the people who are actually doing the work? So Emma is going to sit down and she's going to paint Julian's nails for him. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. And now he's finished, he's getting his hair done. And his hair still looks the same, so we might need... Well, we can't put any bows on because he doesn't have any holes in his hair like the girls do. It's a bit of an oversight, I think. I think he would look very pretty with a bow or some love heart sunglasses. <laughs> or a crown. We'll put the crown on Emma. There we go. Or we could swap them around. Yay, now he's got Sophie's turban. <laughs> and Emma's hair. <laughs> this is just getting silly. Where's Stephanie to come and add a voice of reason and stop? Oh, no, no, no silliness. Now they're all playing hair swapsies. Right, that's enough of that. Let's go and get some food because you've been shopping for long enough. I think that uh, Emma might have some pizza and Stephanie has no idea what she would like. Let's see. Julian, what are you going to have? So, yep, pizza, a sandwich and some fries. I'm sure there will be some nutrients in there somewhere. <laughs> and they're going to sit here to eat it. And now it's time to visit the bridal shop. And Emma is going to come in. Oh, see, Stephanie bumped ahead too. That, that sign's just too low. Emma's going to go in. Look, she's trying on the dress. She's trying on the tiara. She's trying on the wedding ring. And now she's got the bouquet of flowers. She does look lovely. And now she's standing in the shop window pretending to be the mannequin and Stephanie's keeping an eye out. But I can hear somebody coming quick. Where are the shop assistants? Uh, it's not It's not the shop assistant. It's just Julian. Phew, lucky she's changed back. That's enough silliness. Oh, no, there's still more silliness. It's time to go out on the catwalk and do a fashion show of all of the cool things in the mall. So Emma's going to do a spin in her wedding bridal attire. Off she goes, back down the catwalk. And here comes Stephanie in the latest fashion of flippers and tennis racket with a visor. And here she comes back again on the skateboard because she's pretty good at this skateboard. See, look, see, she can even go along, <laughs> along a catwalk. Julian has turned up in the best bike in the mall and he's got that fancy cool hat on that doesn't uh, have any hair on it and he appears to be stuck to the catwalk but he's gone now which is perfect and Sophie, Sophie's coming to show off the latest in day spa, day spa day wear and she looks lovely in her cloth turban and her face mask and not to be left out she's going to show you exactly how to use the weights from the sports shop. Perfect. Thank you very much, Sophie. <laughs> and before they go, I think they'd better go in and get a picture taken in the photo booth. Where is it? Where's the flash? Where's... There it is. Picture taken. Turn the knob. Here's your picture. A wonderful memory of a day at the shopping mall. Did you have fun, girls? You certainly looked like you had fun. <laughs> there they all are. The whole Heart Lake shopping mall is built Though I am sorry to say that the orange basketball remains missing somewhere on the floor in the mess in my room. I hope I find it soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click like and leave me a comment and I will see you again very, very soon.